going to start with the anterior triangle as it is a very simple way i have explained as it is a simple way i have explained the understand concentrate very important when you see the anterior view of the triangle it is very important when you see side view of that is the quadrilateral in space quadrilateral means four sided so that four sided quadrilateral space of the neck which is there that is having the triangles okay in this you have to remember anterior triangle and posterior triangle this anterior view where you can see the trachea deeper hyoid bone and both the side you are going to get the anterior pili of the gastric and posterior pili so in this uh, you are going to get the regions of the anterior triangle area which is in front of the sternocleidomastoid we are going to call it as the anterior triangle of the neck it is subdivided by the digastric and uh, superior pili of homohyoid this is the digastric muscle and superior pili of homohyoid muscle into four sub triangle and those four sub triangle which is we get here is a first one submental and this is a digastric then we are going to get the carotid and this area will be the muscular okay so these are the four areas where you can see the uh, present of the presence of the uh, sub triangles of the anterior triangle so this is a very important all structures you have to remember hyoid bone and this is a muscular triangle here both the side you can get the carotid triangle submental triangle digastric triangle so sub mandibular triangle also we call as a digastric triangle okay so after this you have to remember about the boundaries of the uh, your submental triangle when you go to the submental triangle in this you are going to see the this enlarged extended neck region where you can see both the side you are going to get the on each side anterior pili of digastric muscle very important boundaries i am asked you just now Uh, that is a very important they are not the same medial lateral or something so that you are remember on each side you are going to get the anterior pili of digastric and uh, we are going to get the base is uh, from that, that is a hyoid bone apex lying at the chin so this is very important to remember about the it is a median triangle of the sub triangle of the anterior triangle of the neck okay so this median triangle means midline half right side half left side so that it is in the mid midline so that it is a median triangle of the anterior triangle of the neck situated in the submental region i have told boundaries we are going to get on each side we have the anterior pili of digastric base is hyoid apex is formed by resting on the chin deeper to this we have the mylohyoid muscle here that is making the floor for the anterior jugular vein this is but whatever the this muscle which is we are going to get mylohyoid muscle that is making the floor for the anterior vein so this is all about the then these are the small submental lymph nodes contains of the submental triangle are the 3 to 4 or we get the 2 to 4 small submental lymph nodes what is the draining area i have told this area part which is you are going to get that is a superficial to the part which is present on the submental region adjoining gum lower part of the anterior part of the floor of the mouth tip of the tongue lower lip central part of the lower lip central part of the lower lip adjoining gum then anterior part of the floor of the mouth tip of the tongue and the fascia covering on this area all will be drained by the submental lymph nodes very important submental lymph nodes you have to remember anything which is draining area infected you are going to get the enlargement of the these lymph nodes okay so that is the one which is you have to remember next comes about the next uh, you are going to get the digastric triangle so digastric triangle which is a area situated in the submandibular region we are going to get the digastric triangle is present in the submandibular region so one thing you have to remember this the area between the one which is you have to explain base of the mandible to the you are going to get the that is a hyoid bone 
this hyoid bone and base of mandible which is area comes is a submandibular region and that is a uh, we get as a submandibular triangle or the digastric triangle okay what is the boundary here we are not going to get anterior posterior we are going to tell anterior inferior anterior inferiorly by the anterior belly of digastric muscle posterior inferiorly by the posterior belly of digastric muscle and base is formed by the that is a upper part which is formed by the base of the mandible it is very important base of the mandible line joining the angle of mandible to the mastoid process line joining the angle of mandible to the mastoid process is we are going to call it and this is a digastric triangle boundary so we have two muscles anteriorly we are going to get mylohyoid and posteriorly hyoglossus anterior part of the uh, which is we are going to get digastric triangle mylohyoid as we have got deeper in the submental triangle that is only same muscle mylohyoid and hyoglossus so we are going to get contains on this according to the this we are going to get but what you have to remember anterior inferiorly anterior belly of digastric posterior inferiorly posterior belly of digastric superiorly by the base of the mandible line base of the mandible then you have to tell the line joining the angle of mandible to the mastoid process this we call as a digastric triangle okay so this is the second triangle where we get the contents of the digastric triangle these all main content will be the we get the one submandibular salivary gland this submandibular salivary gland and we have the lymph nodes all this will be present in the digastric triangle also we are going to get the submental artery mylohyoid nerve and vessel and the hypoglossal nerve and that is a main content will be the submandibular salivary gland this is the main content in the digastric triangle other contents where you can get uh, we can divide the superficial to the uh, mylohyoid and superficial to the we get the that is the hyoglossus according to that you have to uh, contain your anterior part of the triangle we can divide anterior part of the triangle structure superficial to the mylohyoid and structure superficial to the hyoglossus then on the posterior we have the superficial deep and deepest structure those are grouped in this diagram submandibular salivary gland as i have told content of the digastric triangle main important then i have told the submandibular lymph nodes hypoglossal nerve facial vein and facial artery submental artery so these are the most important contents in the that is the sub uh, digastric or submandibular triangle okay so this is the one which is you have to remember again you have to write about the, sub, the superficial deep and deepest structure so here we get in the digastric triangle here more deep and deepest uh, structure we get the internal carotid external carotid common carotid arteries when dividing into a external internal carotid internal jugular vein most deepest structure and here we are going to get in the lower part of the parotid gland lower part of the parotid gland and we have the uh, that is the external carotid internal carotid as you are going to get this in the carotid triangle also but more deeper structure here also you are going to get in the digastric so these are the contents and boundaries and uh, floor of the digastric triangle then going to the next triangle comes about the carotid triangle and this carotid triangle which is very important which is it is a you get the hyoid bone and here we have the superiorly we are going to get one muscle and here we have the sternocleidomastoid so we are going to get which is this muscle we are going to get the digastric posterior belly of digastric muscle superior belly of homohyoid and sternocleidomastoid muscle this is the posteriorly and superiorly and this is the anterior inferiorly superiorly by the posterior belly of digastric muscle anterior inferiorly by the superior belly of homohyoid posteriorly by the sternocleidomastoid muscle boundary here contains you get the as the one of the artery vein nerves so in this most important carotid name itself gives you a carotid means you have common carotid internal carotid external carotid 
this artery common carotid dividing into a internal and external artery one nerve comes vagus nerve and that is a forming the one uh, nerve plexus which is we call ansa cervicalis then next we get the internal jugular vein internal jugular vein ansa cervicalis vagus nerve and common carotid internal and external carotid artery okay and here we are going to get the this one which is the external carotid artery internal carotid artery does not give any branches this was asked in the last mcq uh, we are going to get internal carotid does not give any branch a very important question is asked external carotid which is there external carotid gives the branches so all these are the facial we have then lingual artery we have superior uh, thyroid artery these all are the branches ascending pharyngeal artery these are the branches of the external carotid artery question will be asked cross question what are the branches of internal carotid artery you should know internal carotid artery in the neck does not give any branches external carotid that gives branches in the that is a in the carotid triangle this is the one question you are doing and here these all artery nerve and vein internal jugular vagus and common carotid internal carotid this will be done as a one fascia covering around these great vessels and nerve that is we call it as a carotid c it is a condensation of the extra connective tissue around the we are going to get around the great vessels of the neck that we call as a that is a one which we call as a carotid c it is a one connective tissue around the uh these great vessels of the neck making the that is the one which is a seat like covering and that is we call as a carotid seat what is a carotid seat contain carotid seat is one of the main content of the carotid uh, triangle what carotid triangle uh, carotid seat contains it contains common carotid internal carotid internal jugular vein and vagus nerve all these will be the contents of the that is the boundaries and content of the carotid triangle so this is the one which is a uh, very important here we have studied the all uh, that is a deep muscles then next comes about the one which is a last triangle that is a muscular triangle so here muscular triangle which is you are going to get that is a muscular triangle which is a bounded anteriorly by the median plane anteriorly and posterior superiorly superior belly of homo hair and inferiorly we are going to get the sternocleidomastoid muscle and uh, posterior inferiorly posterior superiorly and anterior median line anteriorly anterior median line posterior superiorly superior belly of homo hyoid and posterior inferiorly anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and these are the muscular triangles of the neck and this will contains the infrahyoid muscle this is a hyoid bone and that is the infrahyoid muscle okay so you have to remember about the what here infrahyoid muscles are the sternohyoid sternothyroid thyroid and omohyoid these all are the contents of the that is a muscular triangle of the neck so this is all about the uh, total discussion about the anterior triangle of the neck and its sub triangles that is a sub mental carotid digestive carotid and muscular you have to remember boundaries and contents in general idea you have to get when you go to the uh, triangular area that in this you have to explain the all the content idea sub mental region where you are going to get sub mental lymph nodes common if you don't recollect at least remember sub mental triangle where it is situated what is the content so what you have to remember sub mental lymph nodes and sub mental uh, that is a small group of lymph nodes about 3 to 4 or 2 to 4 in number those we call as the submental lymph nodes second one you have to remember uh, digastric triangle it contains the submandibular salivary gland lower part of the parotid gland and deep structure we get the common carotid internal carotid jugular and vagus nerve then going to the most important digastric you have to remember is submandibular salivary gland major content then going to the carotid triangle common carotid external internal carotid internal jugular and vagus as it is a carotid seat and carotid content so those you have to remember this diagram 
you can draw for the content of the carotid triangle and carotid C. Okay, so this is the one which is you all remember. Muscular triangle, you all remember the muscles. As it is name itself gives you the muscular means it should have the, the below the hyoid bone it is. So muscles included as a content are the infrahyoid muscles. So those we call as an infrahyoid muscle are the content in the muscular triangle. That is a we call sternohyoid, sternohyoid, thyrohyoid and omohyoid. Not suprahyoid muscle. Suprahyoid muscles for digastric, stylohyoid, myeloid and geniohyoid. So these all are, should not be confused, suprahyoid and infrahyoid muscles. This is one you ought to remember. This diagram you ought to practice for the contain. This is a digastric triangle contains and uh, floor. This is a submental triangle. So separately long question can be asked on the digastric triangle. Separately long question can be asked on the carotid triangle. Okay. Then submental and muscular can be combinedly asked as a long question. Uh, or if they are asked anterior triangle of neck means all four you have tried. So this is the one which is I have dictated last time questions relating the anterior triangle. So this is what about the uh, main important part which is we have done that's the anterior triangle of the neck. Okay. So diagrams you have to complete and uh, whatever it is. And once again this diagram we are going to deal when we deal the submandibular salivary gland. So that is very important you have to remember. Is it clear? So this is all about the anterior triangle of neck. Every alternative question paper is having 10 mass question at the anterior triangle. And that important question you should know. Don't neglect this. That is the one which is you have to remember. Okay? Here we have completed the anterior triangle. Then we are going